me in a box. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I mean, seriously guys, all of you, my old subscribers and new potential ones, seriously, welcome. I really do appreciate it. I mean, you could be on a date, you could be doing your own stuff, but you chose to click on my video and you chose to spend some time with me. So I really, really, really appreciate it, guys. From the bottom of my heart and piece of my liver and piece of my all my internal organs I appreciate it and trust me I value those organs <laughs> with that said it's another haul from my closet guys these pieces they have been with me and so I have managed to reinvent them and wear different tops with them on different occasions and they have stood the test of time so I definitely love them I am doing this because I want to inspire and I want to educate and I want to encourage you guys to be a sustainable and an educated consumer because trust me guys it's important and I never knew how important it is until um, all I can see is so many impact of climate change and I mean in the Caribbean we used to have hurricanes but they're getting worse I am from the Caribbean and sometimes it's scary it's scary man seriously but anyway let's not be on such a sad note let's think positive thoughts and let's think that I am here to really really do something good for me and you because if we love fashion we're gonna be responsible consumers and we're going to consume wisely and force these companies to make our clothing items from sustainable fabrics seriously man seriously we've got to do this join the sustainable fashion movement oh girl oh guy it's a good thing with that said today I'm going to share with you some other stuff I've had in my closet forever and if you know how old I am you would know that that that's no exaggeration I've, 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 I've been around yes I've been living here for quite some time so I'm really trying to make up to the off you know when you're trying to make up to a boyfriend or a girlfriend you know you know what I mean right I'm trying to make up to the off because yes, yes, I've been very bad. Being somebody that loves fashion, I have been very bad. And so, I am looking for ways in which I can be more environment environmentally sustainable in a world of fast fashion. I don't want to be another person that jump on the bandwagon because a clothing item looks good or fits well that's not the key so going forward the most important message I want to convey to you is to look for fabric fit and of course you know your own style whatever your style is so we are going with the FFS fit fabric and style I mean fabric comforts by the way so yes guys these days what we are seeing is this new love relationship with corduroy I mean yes 
That camera is so rude, rudely interrupted me. Anyway, where was I? As I've said, Corduroy is getting this big new resurgence and you see that the pieces are being done in high-waisted pants. Ah, oh, my love. And of course, Corduroy is a fabric. It's a kind of material that gets a bad rap because in some people it's not as classy and it's associated with old people like fashion of long ago so not many people have respect for corduroy but when i was working in a factory and trust me guys one day i'll share all my experiences with you as a new immigrant when i came to canada i worked in a factory and corduroys and jeans were my they were my uniforms so i invested in tons of them in different colors and so when the trend made a comeback i had to go back in my bins and look for some stuff but i also kept some out because I love them and I still gravitate towards them and I try to make them look chic and fabulous to fit into my current style and my current look because over the years my fashion sense my sense of style it has changed there has definitely been a fashion evolution and just like my quest to be more sustainable right now, my fashion sense has definitely evolved. Boy, I used to wear some questionable outfits, <laughs> but that's another story. One day I'll walk you through my fashion evolution and you and I are gonna have some great laughs. But today, I want to focus on some of those go-to corduroy pieces that I didn't want to throw aside or to throw out because I love them. I love the fit, I love how they look, and most importantly, in my new quest to be sustainable, corduroys happen to be a sustainable, these corduroys that I have, happen to be made from sustainable material with just a tiny dash a tiny dash of elastane which i'm a little bit mad but there's not much i could do so the first piece is this brown piece and of course you know corduroy is in and the color brown is in as I have said to you guys long ago, brown is my second favorite color. It was all I wore. So this was definitely one of those pieces. And it's this gorgeous high-waisted, well, for me, it's high-waisted. And it's a long maxi skirt, depending on how tall you are and how you wear it if you wear it lower waist it's maxi if you wear it higher which i do it's midi guys this is gorgeous it comes with a matching belt with this gorgeous big buckle and this is about wow this is about 15 years old this skirt is about 15 years old wow it's gorgeous it's a close fit huh. has a nice split at the back and it has these stitching dark light details and when you remove the belt 
it has a nice V detail at the very front there that I love. Thank you, Dolly. By the barry, I can admit I likes the party. I spent the grip, I swipe the cardi. When I high summer drip, my pricey got me. I'm the swami, I feel hip cat, I'm freaky fit. Oh my god, today I'll be pairing it with this leopard print blouse. This is one of the blouses I wear to work, and this I think is about five or six years old. That I can rip it, I saw no wrist like I sufficient. Another thing that has made a big comeback is animal prints. And I have tons of animal prints in my wardrobe, so there's no need for me to even go out and buy anymore. So I'm not. And this is one said pieces. When I like with a bitch that spicy, get that. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. I love it. The only issue, and I think you know, it's the fabric. The fit is good. The style is gorgeous. I love the style. This has a nice color detail and it has the cow neck. The cow neck is very elegant. It's very sophisticated. What you want to do? I got racks, racks, racks at the ATM jam. Tell me what you want to do. You were bad. And I just love to see those 1960s and 1950s movie stars in their nice, gorgeous cow neck gowns. And cow neck, for me, is one of my favorite, most flattering styles. It looks great on almost everybody shapes. Badass bitch, a badass bitch. I don't get swallowed in that fat ass bitch. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. Tell me what you. So, that's a style to definitely look out for. I think many of you would find it really, really flattering and really, really chic on you. So yes, so we have fit and we have style, but we don't have fabric. So this piece is 100% polyester. And as I said, I'm going to wear it. It's not biodegradable. It's going to be Z degradable. That's my short name, by the way. For those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, a lot of people call me Z for short. So Z, it's going to be Z readable because I'm going to wear this piece literally to death because I am not very happy that I invested in it and it turns out not to be sustainable. So that's what I'm going to do with all the pieces in my closet that are currently not biodegradable or environmentally friendly. I am going to wear them to death. Seriously. Let's let's see. Let's see how much this puts up a fight against me. Let's see how you do. <laughs> so, yes guys, that's how I style it. I'm gonna do a you a bad ass bitch, a bad ass bitch. I don't get swallowed in a bad ass bitch. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. Tell me what you want to do. Hey, yo, P. Do that freaky shit I wanna be. Shitty with that butter shit that that won't be. I definitely hope you find some inspiration from my styling. The next piece is very similar, but it's of a different color. And the style is very much similar and it has similar details as well. And this is 98% cotton and 2% elastin. So at least the elastin is decreasing. But I see why they put the elastin in it. It's to give it some stretch. But I could do it out the stretch these days because mixing a natural fabric with a synthetic one, it makes it even more challenging to break down and to even recycle. So it's 
it's it's not a good thing it's better to have one natural fiber viscose cotton linen I think I've covered the bases with those so this is as I said very similar in style it's just a different color and I love the differences in color it it picked up some stuff on the floor it also has a split at the back and of course i wear it high-waisted there are such gorgeous neutral pieces guys tell me what you want to do you were bad at Skirt, I paired it with this blouse from H&M and you guys know I love my tie neck it's a really gorgeous piece balloon sleeve I love that so yeah pair these pieces together so this is when new meets old because this is about two years old so yeah guys for your inspiration even if people give corduroy a bad rap don't mind them go for what you like go and do your own thing many influencers would try to influence you in i tell you what i love if it doesn't suit you i never ever tell you to go get it because if high waisted is not your thing don't do it get the low waist version or get your own style but take inspiration from how i style my high waisted pants and use it to style your low waisted pants or your low waisted skirt and i love prints i am not telling you to go and love prints if you love your neutral colors if you are more of a classic person i am more bohemian i do have a combination of classic pieces so i could say I am a combination of styles because I don't like to be placed in one box but I do wear a lot of prints so some people tend to label me as bohemian but I am a whole lot of styles I am all over the fashion industry I think I've told you guys that before I am not one of those to be confined to a box no guys as I said at the very beginning of this video we are going for the FFS fabric fit and your style so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys take care bye bye